That was our Nacra to Mestia trek. So we're here in Mestia right now in Swaneti, which is in northwestern Georgia. Uh, we did our trek over five days. We spent four nights in guest houses and one night camping at Coraldi Lakes. But if you're a fast walker, you could do it in four days. Uh, lots of people do. Um, just staying in guest houses along the way, you don't necessarily have to camp. We have written everything that you need to know about this trek in our blog post. The link is down below in the description. So if you're looking to, to do this trek yourself, do read that. It's got all the trail notes and it's got tons of practical info and um, everything you need to know basically to plan your own trek but we will tell you some bits and bobs about it now. Yeah so this is actually part of the Trans-Caucasian Trail, the TCT. Uh, it actually starts a little bit further west mm -hmm. than Nacra um, in a place called Chuberi and you can do that as one day hike to Nacra although it's quite long maybe two and then it carries on from Mestia to Ushguli as well so you can do a big long hike or you can do parts of it. Yeah. Um, so lots of people do carry on from Mestia here onto Ushguli, which is another four days, which is what we will be doing mm -hmm. next. But for now, we'll just tell you more about this one. So yeah, we stayed in guest houses along the way. Um, you can get all your food at the guest houses, so breakfast and dinner. They can make you a lunchbox if you need for the trail as well, or just, you know, snaffle some bread at breakfast, something like that. That's what we usually do. It costs about 50 or 60 lari per person, um, usually for dinner, bed and breakfast. Which works um, out at about mm. 16 to 19 dollars per person. Yeah. yeah, so it's not an expensive trek to do, it's not expensive to stay here. There's no permit fees or national park entry fees or anything like that that you have to pay on top. So it's a, it's a pretty good budget hike with lots of nice scenery, as you've noticed. Okay, so we'll give you a little bit of an outline um, of the actual trek itself, uh, sort of day-to-day -day details and so on. Day one um, and day two, if you are a fast walker, could definitely be combined into one day, but mm -hmm. we wanted to stay over um, in Kichikoldashi and just take our time on it. Yeah, we always like to take our time and as we're filming and making notes and taking pictures and things like that. We don't want to have the stress, but if you're not doing all those things, it's very easy to combine those two um, mm -hmm. into one. Day one for us, we started at Napra Guest House. Uh, I think there's only one guest house in the village. It's a nice village. Uh, a nice guest house? Yeah. <laughs> so we left there and then it's basically a bit of a climb up to a forested pass mm -hmm. and then down through some sort of abandoned villages uh, and eventually on to Kichikoldashi where there are only two people living uh, and they are actually the parents of Nino who owns the guest house in Napra guest house. Mm -hmm. So that was quite nice. Uh, stayed with the daughter and then stayed with the parents. Um, it's a homely place. It's uh, it's more like a, a homestay than a guest house really that one. Uh, but they're super friendly, yeah. super welcoming. Crazy it's... old school spring thing under the mattress that was really really saggy. But... Yeah, the hospitality, made, hospitality was made up for really, this slight like, lack really of comfort. Yeah, really friendly <laughs> old couple. So we left there the next morning, uh, complete with kachapudi from our host, packed it off with us. Day two, we went from Kichkildashi to Itseri. Itseri is a collection of villages, mm -hmm. so it's not actually the name of one place. Uh, it's a number of villages and, and that's sort of the general name given to all of them. Uh, it was just another kind of nice day. There's You're just walking through fields and villages and kind of taking it all in. Uh, we had a, wee, a nice wee rest stop where we had some good views. Mm -hmm. Um, lunch by the river where we munched down on Yeah, that was a nice tea. spot. Mostly it's a bit of up and down throughout the day, yeah. but there's no dramatic changes in uh, elevation yeah. and it's not too long a day either. It's quite pleasant. Yeah. So we got to kind of lower Etseri area and we were planning on staying at the Hammer guest house. As far as we were aware, that's the only one in the area. But when we got there in mid afternoon, desperate to stop and enjoy the sunshine, uh, they weren't receiving guests at the moment. And we were like, oh no, we're going to have to camp and uh, we had to carry on up the hill looking for a camp spot and then suddenly saw a sign for a new guest house or rather an old house which has just been turned into a guest house uh, so I was pretty delighted about that. They are the last house in Upper Itseri so we actually kind of ticked off a little bit of the distance from the next day mm -hmm. which is the first big wow day. Day three you head up over uh, Baki Pass and when you get to the top you've got these amazing views of Mount Ushba all the way down to Mazeri village where you're headed uh, that day and yeah, it was it was really spectacular. So again, we had some catch puri that we'd been uh, packed off with from our guest house for lunch. And yeah, it was just another another really nice day around the mountain, descended down to Missouri. And this crazy aggro dog just came running at me from behind, out of nowhere, and and attacked me. 
it, it tried to bite my leg. In the end, all it got was my trouser leg and ripped a hole in it before I swung around with my hiking poles and scared it off. But yeah, that was a very narrow uh, escape. It was quite a small dog. It just looked like a bit of a, we'd call it a raj in, uh, in Glasgow, <laughs> a bit of a raj. That was uh, not very pleasant, so beware of the dogs in the villages here. Mm. Uh, anyway, we, we got to the guest house that we wanted to stay at. Again, uh, she wasn't accepting guests at the moment, um, and then pointed us in the direction of a place that is accepting mm. guests, uh, which turned out to be great. So we stayed at the Peak Missouri Guest House. We had an amazing view right from our, our bedroom window of Mount Ushba, mm. and in the end, we stayed three nights. Mm. So on our second day, we did a day hike to uh, Shugra, Shudugra. Shudugra. Shudugra waterfall, which was really nice. We were expecting a bit of rain the day after, so we decided just to hang out one more day, have a little rest, why not? Um, in the end, the rain didn't materialise, but it was a good We had a break. fine day to rest <laughs> and catch up on a few things. Exactly. And then on uh, the next day, it was from Mazeri to Karuldi Lakes, where we were camping. Uh, that was the biggest day of this trek. You go up over Guli Pass, so it was about a 1400 meter climb up. Got a little bit tiring towards the end, I have to say. Um, but again, amazing views from the top. And, uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a steep descent coming down. There's like a, a gully with a stream that you have to kind of clamber down. Um, it wasn't as bad as I'd imagined in my head from reading some trail notes. It eventually we ended up at Karoldi Lakes, uh, which you can see from the pass. Mm. Uh, and it looks really close, but it's quite a few hours still to get there with. And, hour long uphill, quite steep uphill climb right at the end of what for us was an 11 hour day. Many people just do Mazeri to Mestia in one day, which is entirely possible. Yeah. You need to be going at a faster pace than, than we were um, to complete the distance, but it's entirely possible. Yeah, and if you don't want to carry camping gear the whole way, that's what you would have to do is go all the way down to Mestia mm -hmm. and miss out Karoldi Lakes. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to camp there. Got yeah. there at sunset, so didn't really see much that night, but we just hung out the whole of the next morning um, around the lakes, taking in all the beautiful reflections of the mountains, had a little wander along a side trail to fetch some water. Yeah, it was nice. And the last sort of three hours descending down to Mestia is half on road, half on trail, um, a little bit steep at times through the forest, and then you emerge just in Mestia, surrounded by these amazing Swanetti Towers, which I absolutely love, wandering down on cobbled, cobbled roads into the town. It's yeah, it's a really cool. nice entry into the town. The last bit just before we got there was quite steep and mm. uh, quite tiring uh, and hot and sweaty because you're getting lower down, but mm. the entry into the town made it all worth it. Yeah, so we are here now. We are staying at the Mushkudiani Manor which is a very nice place by the by the river. Uh, you can hear the river at night, just lulling you off to sleep. Owner is really friendly, speaks a bit of English, and we are just gonna stay here for a few nights, really. There's some museums to explore, we're gonna do some day hikes, and uh, just chill before we embark on the next part of our journey. Everything else, all the information about, you know, guest houses where we've stayed, uh, detailed trail notes with things like trekking distances, uh, times, packing lists, stuff like that, how to get here, how to get away, all that jazz is in the blog post over our, on our website. Our GPX track, as previously mentioned as well. So yes. all practical information is there, so do check it out. Um, if we have forgotten anything, which we probably have, <laughs> it's in the blog post. If you want to get in touch just by sending us a message, please do. Or let us know what you think of the video. If you liked it, give it the old thumbs up, leave a comment. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. We really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time we uh, release a new video. We don't have a set schedule, so it's uh, it's always a little surprise when you get that little little bell ringing on your inbox. Hopefully when this one comes out, there'll have been a steady stream by that point. Who knows? Depends, <laughs> depends how quickly I can edit these all. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Cheerio. Bye.